All right, so a uh, new update for Tower just came out. They just launched the Mini Golf Dark, which actually looked really cool from the preview images. Uh, it's only the first half of it, only nine holes in it. And they did like a few like other like little bug fixes and just little additions, nothing crazy. It's all about Mini Golf Dark, so we're going to go give it a go right now. See what this is like, um, and hope it's good. I'm very, very curious about it because it looked really cool. And with it only being nine holes, you know, there's going to be a lot of time in this video to do other stuff. No idea what else I'm going to do. Uh, I've been fully invested in the whole stock market thing. Uh, I'm sure if you've been on the internet, you kind of know what's going on. I've had investments in AMC for uh, a little bit before uh, it started blowing up. Not, not for too long, but yeah. Oh, wow. That's really dark. Oh, that's trippy. Um... I have some investments going on, so I, I needed to do, do this video to kind of, like, give my head a break. And I'm kind of glad I did, because this is really cool looking. They said the name of it was Dark, and uh, they really aren't lying. Dear Lord. That's cool. I like that. Because it doesn't, like, really look like you're kind of, like, shooting on anything. Like, that's almost completely transparent. That's really, really cool. The nine hole course is cool too. I kind of like, you know what? I would be down if they did a mini golf, like where you could do like just half courses, like choose like which halves you want and just play on those halves. That'd be really cool. If this kind of like kick started that idea. Ooh, that was a cool effect. That'd be kind of like awesome if that start started like that, uh, that trend in this game. Because maybe I just want to play like, you know, back half of Kingdom. I like that. All right. Beautiful. And a boom. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Let's get par on our first go, huh? Why not? Yeah, they announced this, like, course, like, maybe, like, what, like, a few months ago on Trello? Not too long ago. But I only saw, like, two preview images. I didn't realize it was going to be like this, and that's, that's kind of cool. I'm excited for, like, the next couple of holes to be added. Wait, what? Oh, there we go. That was confusing. But now we're good. Alright. It's tough when you can't see. Who would have guessed? So I guess that wasn't too, too bad. Like, you know, we just want one over, but that's fine. Excellent. You know what I finally had today? I finally had Mr. Beast Burger. I've been wanting it since uh, they first kind of brought him out like all over the country here. And I finally get to try a Beast Style and a Beast Fry. And honestly, uh, one of the better burgers I've actually had, like not even joking. I thought it was freaking delicious. I know they just kind of like outsource other restaurants to make it for him, but my restaurant here did a freaking awesome job. It was, again, as the kids would say, delicious. Alright, so where am I going? I'm assuming up here, then. Maybe? Yeah! Ooh, this is a tough hole. This won't be too bad, like, once you kind of, like, memorize the layouts. But, uh, on first go here, a little bit tricky. But still super fun. Cool course. Big Mr. Beast Burger, really good. At least mine was. Uh. Excellent. And so far so good. I don't need to get like a birdie or like an eagle or something like right now though. Yeah, that didn't help me. If I got like that birdie there, that would be freaking wonderful. Oh well. So we got plenty of time to get that wonderful par on my first go. Plenty, plenty, plenty of time. Up 
Oops, a daisy. Sweet. All right. So do I want to go like max hit over this? This is looking like yeah. That's that's definitely gonna be like a max power hit. Okay. Gonna manipulate that camera. <laughs> then we golden and go. Sweet. Now can we make this a birdie? It's gonna be nice and precise. Hit. Uh, there. Damn it. A little bit too much. Still got plenty of time, though. We're okay. Got three, wow, only three more holes. But I can do this. I know I can. I like the little, like, spotlight effect that kind of goes around, too. It reminds me a lot of, um, the original Metal Gear game and, uh, Snake's Revenge. With like kind of like the spotlight, if you ever played those. Because um, I realized Snake's Revenge might be a little bit of like an obscure one for like a Tower Unite video. But they had like little searchlights going around like that. And like the rest of like the area was completely dark. It was awesome. Just kind of gives me those vibes. Snake's Revenge never gets the respect it deserves though. Because it's like not like an official Metal Gear game, but kind of like a... Uh, it is one, but it's, it's not... <laughs> Sort of deals. But I used to love that game as a kid. I sucked at it, but I loved it. Alright, we need one more birdie and a par. And we got it. I doubt they have any dark achievements right now, though. But I still want to do it just to say I did it. Alright. Cool. Alright, let's ride the wall. Perfect. Okay. Nice Got one more hole. I need to get this as a birdie. Let's do it. Never seen it before, but I can do it. Can I do it? Come on. Let's make or break. Let's get this birdie. Hell yeah. <laughs> I, did I accomplish anything out of that? No. But you know what? I hit par my first go of this, so I feel pretty good about that. But that's all there is to I'm not going to replay it. But yeah, those nine holes are like really good. No complaints. Uh, once they finish off that course, I mean, like even like looking at that end screen there. Like, one more golf course will just look like a very, like, nice set of courses you can have. Oh, let me go back. All right, because how many golf courses are we at now? Here we have, like, 11? Yeah, make it 12, and I'll feel, like, pretty content with, like, mini golf. Like, these modes are, like, starting to become, like, nice and, like, fleshed out. I still think Virus needs, like, two or three more maps, though. But I know they're getting theme parks soon. There's like one or two more. Accelerate's getting there. I still gotta play more wishy washy. Alright, so workshop condos. I did download a really cool one, but I've kind of seen it already. From someone else streaming it. My, my good old buddy streamed it. It was, uh, it was like a video game museum. I think I downloaded it. Did I? Oh, I did download. I downloaded a Nintendo museum, though, that I don't think I've looked at here yet. Hmm. Should we? We might, because the video game is museums are really cool, too. But I've already kind of seen it. But you know what? We'll, oh no, I do have it installed. What? I didn't see it. I saw the Nintendo. Oh, there it is. Wow. I'm blind. Well, I haven't seen the Nintendo museum yet. I don't think. No, no, I have seen the Nintendo one. I have. 
I've done that one on video. I just, it completely slipped my mind. Look, I'm a very, very good commentator. Let's go into the video game one. We might as well just kind of show it off. I like showing off, like, workshop condos every now and then, because some people put, like, crazy work into them. And, like, while I won't really have, like, much of a surprise here, I might as well share it. It'll let me talk about the video games. And I do quite enjoy talking about the old video games. But it has to, like, load, like, a hundred and some hot items right now. Ugh. But it lets me in, it lets me in. Until then, let's... I was gonna read the, uh, the intro, but I guess not. But yeah, as you can see in the background, it's loading in a lot of stuff. Like, a lot less. So I'm just gonna kind of wait. Let it do its thing. Just gotta do what we gotta do. And what we gotta do right now is wait. We gotta hold. Like, I'm holding on to AMC's stock. <laughs> hold? I go straight to the moon. So I got a little bit more left. But we're getting there. At least, like, walk up to the uh, entrance, at least. Let's do that. I haven't, like, actually, like, fully looked in, like, these, uh, these teleporters yet. I know where a few of them go. But this is the dude just saying, you know, I'm paying homage. He has, like, some Steam profile comments. All that going on. We have stuff up here. Which, if I recall correctly, wasn't anything crazy. Yeah. Little dinosaur. And just that dude's logo. And, you know, we're mainly loaded. Now we can kind of go in. Let us go into the video game museum. Hello, sir. Alright, let's go into, uh, let's go into Rust first. Wait, do you have anything for me now? Nothing to say. Do you have anything in the fridge? Eh. Alright, well, we'll go into Rust first. Rust is a game I don't really enjoy all too much. I've had it for years. I just don't get survival games. We get, you know, some pictures to kind of give you, like, the general feel of Rust. Like, what it's going to be like. Not a, uh, not a massive fan, but you know what? Rust does have, like, a really cool, like, aesthetic to it. So you can't hate. I've got GTA. We got some CJ, we got some Trevor, what's his name, uh, I believe this is gonna, is this the subway train from, um, four, right, right, four, no, three, three, uh, hell yeah, dude, we got Cousin Nico, we gotta go, we gotta go bowling, GTA 4 is fantastic, I'm so glad I played it last year. Are these, like, sales figures? They are. I was like, who's gonna put sales figures up? Then I remembered, this is a museum. It makes perfect sense to do that. Space Engineers, a game I never played, but I always heard they were, like, one of the best early access games. They just did it completely right, and I can uh, totally respect that. Maybe one day I'll try it out, but I've just never tried it. Hi, Zoidberg. <laughs> what else we got? We got Skyrim. Uh, not a Skyrim fan. Uh, I much prefer Morrowind and Oblivion. But, you know, it, it has earned its place, like, in a museum, I will say that. 100%, although I just kind of prefer other Elder Scrolls. Speaking of which, there's one called Shadow Key that only ever came to the N-Gage. That I would love to try someday, but, like, N-Gage emulation isn't really much of a thing. I think you can do it, like, with some, like, other random-ass emulator, but it ain't perfect. Where am I going now? Oh, Star Citizen. The game that keeps raising money... But nothing ever really comes out. Star Citizen. I think I will be dead before that game gets a full release. Alright. We got some Subnautica. Another game I've yet to play, but I do kind of want to play the, uh, the newer one. What is it called? Like Deep Zero, Below Zero, with penguins and stuff? I want to play that. We got some Zeldas. Some Wind Waker action over here. We got our Ocarina of Times. We got our uh, nice, what do they call, Kukos? Kakos? Chickens. Big evil chickens, our Triforce. I kind of wish the Zelda room had a little bit more kind of going on in it. Considering how big of a property it is. 
Or maybe it should have got the WoW room, because the WoW room's huge. I don't know if you really need this much for WoW, but... Here it is. I, I feel like this the person who made this condo and, like, my tastes are so completely different, because I don't like WoW either. Non-MMO person. I respect what it's done, though. Witcher 3, a game I will eventually play one day. Uh, but I want to play through Witcher 1 and 2 first, even though I know I don't need to to enjoy Witcher 3. I'd rather play through the first two games, even though I know they're a little bit, uh, a little bit jank. I'm cool with that. This dude has all his Tower Unite trophies in there. Indeed. Oh, that's Stanley Parable. Yeah, why'd you ever need Stan... You don't have... I didn't even notice that the first time I, I watched my buddy play this. You don't really need much for Stanley Parable. All you need is that. And anyone that plays Stanley Parable understands completely. Banjo, we got some Misty. Hell yeah, dude. Little Warthog over there. Uh, we kind of got the source room down here, so we kind of go through like all the different areas of source. So we have TF2. Now we have Left 4 Dead. Portal. Oh, that's cute. Portals actually like function as portals. No oh, Half Life though, that kind of surprises me. Unless I missed it. Up here? No. Now, do we have anything on the other side here? This is like a really, really cool little place. Alright, this doesn't look like it's done. Yeah, no, it's just not, that part's just not done. So, like, a really nice museum, but I think I would have tackled the museum a little bit differently. Uh, myself? I think, you know, GTA has had, has its, like, right place. I think the Source, like, uh, area is, like, a very cool thing. And I think almost every game in those series have their place. Um, I would have just done, like, a generic Elder Scrolls and not just Skyrim. Would not have done Star Citizen myself. I would probably have put... Uh, I don't know, like, maybe... Uh, you probably have to, like, reference, like, Final Fantasy, right? Like, if we're going for, like, big franchises. Uh, maybe take it... We can keep WoW. Maybe not do the trophy room. Maybe, maybe, make, uh, maybe make that, like, a Tetris room. Uh, I feel like you kind of gotta, like, acknowledge like, Minecraft at this point. Maybe put just, like, a generic 8-bit room and just kind of, like, put, like, a bunch of, like, the older Castlevanias and Contras and stuff in there. <laughs> Because I feel like a lot of major franchises are kind of, like, missed out on. Unfortunately. So that was that. Theater. Which I believe has nothing in it at the moment. What else this museum got? Yeah, I think they could have probably picked stuff better. Or just, like, went by, like, a genre thing. Or, like, a generation thing. Alright, this is back here. Alright, now where's the uh where's the last teleporter take us? Let us see. Oh, it's just the source room. And this? Okay, that was the most pointless teleport of all. <laughs> Man, that's the uh, that's the video game museum right now, so I think they could have handled it differently, but the I think the brilliant thing is if this person wanted to continue making this, they can easily expand the museum and just do different franchises and everything in a per suite level. Because there's so many different buildings you can use to, like, theme and, like, the resort. So I feel like they could go a lot further with this if they want to stick with it. But it would just be so much work. And they got nothing going outside. But, you know, fair enough. It's a lot of work doing this stuff. So, you know what? They, they didn't do bad. I'll give it a good old, good old thumbs up. And I guess before we call it a video, because all I really wanted to do was kind of like show off uh, the dark mini golf today. Let's just kind of like head to the arcade really quick and see uh, what the high scores are looking like on my good old stack them. We'll do like one quick try to stack them and call it. Ooh, um, fruit frenzy is about to happen. Okay, we gotta go really quick. I want to see what the high score is because I'm probably not gonna bother if it's like above 400 to be in top 10. 
In which case, I'll just do Fruit Frenzy. <laughs> yeah, no. Not for 426. No point. Boom. Let's get the fruit. The final score I get will be the value of my AMC stock by tomorrow. Come on. for my stock. These 50 shares are going to be paying off big time, dude. Hell yeah. Double hell yeah. Can we get like a triple hell yeah? Maybe. A really good fruit frenzy for me. I don't know why. I know it's probably not. Because I forget like what my highest like all-time score in fruit frenzy even is. But I know it's gonna be more than like whatever I get here. But it's feeling pretty good. Feels like I'm actually getting like decent combos here and there. Maybe my best fruit frenzy at this point. Oh shit. Maybe not. I, I feels like I'm going slow, but I feel like a lot of the times, like when I'm actually getting stuff, like it's actually comboing for once. Which makes all the difference. We shall see. That yeah, was best. Damn, dude. Cool. I'm even a minigame master now. <laughs> Hell yeah. But I guess we're gonna call it there. Dark mini golf was cool. That video game museum was pretty cool too. We did good at Fruit Frenzy. So I feel pretty content there. So now I'm just gonna thank you guys very much for watching. I'll catch you guys again next video. Y'all have a lovely day. And as always, toodles.